no food is blue. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I have heard that fiber helps improve your metabolism. So today, we're going to test that scientifically. I've got on a Levels Continuous Glucose Monitor, and we're gonna see what my blood sugar does in real time when I eat some absolute junk food. And then see if we get an improvement by adding fiber. Now, to give you an idea of what we're looking for with my blood sugar, a bad metabolism response would be a big old spike, and a good response would be nice and low and level. That would mean that the food's giving me sustained energy and helping with longevity, and and keeping me away from diabetes and obesity, heart disease, and a bunch of other problems. So does fiber really help with that spike? Let's find out! Ooh, this looks the delicious. We're going with the milkshakes because it's basically already chewed up for us. It'll be super fast digesting. Oh, also. Yeah, we're going plant-based shakes because I'm still on the vegan train. Things I do to be a good friend. <laughs> what flavor are you getting? I don't know, what the is blue magic? Ooh, that is weird. Blue magic. With a K. I'm going Oreo cookie, no question. I'm gonna see if they can mix. Ooh, you getting great. You know you have to get the exact same thing next time. Oh well. Okay. Blue magic means they add spirulina to it, which is actually like, I've heard, pretty healthy yes. superfood. There you go. That's so fun. Don't do it. You it. No, you're messing up our experiment. Fine, you need one step. If you take a sip now, you have to remember, and on the second test, take a sip right when you do the other time. All right, let's go. I'm currently at 77. I'm at 100. I'm stressed. Okay, go. Start your metabolism timer. Just shake. Okay, so how is it? Jeez. Whoa. That is really good. I didn't realize that a shake made from plants can be good. Mm. I love science. You gotta remember to get the same number of sips from each other. Holy shit, that's good. You messed up and put the weapon end on top. Oh, shoot. This is the control test to get a baseline and to see what our metabolism does without anything. And then we get to do this again, but add in fiber. We're just gonna dump the fiber in the shake. I was thinking that we would put it in water. Oh, we'll have to drink water with this too so that everything is equal. That's so much liquid. <laughs> do we have to get the same flavor? You have to be in the same mood and you have to sleep the same amount. Okay. Drink that too. What? It's gonna have fiber in it the next time. Because water also mm. speeds up your body's processing of food. Lukewarm water <laughs> with my shake. What a great pair. Honestly, I think it's a nice tag team. This would be hard to get through otherwise. Who wants water with a shake? I already explained why I picked shake, but this being plant-based, it probably has more fiber than just an yeah. ice cream shake. Yeah. Way to go, vegan. Don't worry, I'm pretty darn sure this is gonna spike me regardless. It's funny that we already tested just vegan junk food to see what it did to us. Not good. We already learned that you can be an unhealthy vegan. And this is an Oreo shake. If you didn't know, Oreos are vegan. You don't have to buy vegan Oreos, which is the regular ones that you've been eating your whole life. Well, hopefully you're not eating it all the time. So, I mean, that's not a sign that you can eat an entire sleeve of Oreos and still be vegan and probably not be healthy. I don't know what is. I mean, while we're on the topic, Levels has actually talked about not having so much liquid with your meals because, again, it'll speed up digestion. And so this might even give us more of a spike. This is, you chugged the wrong thing. <laughs> I'll get there, maybe. I'm still gonna spike even if I don't finish this. I'll just make sure to do the same amount next time. Wait. Get out. Can't even finish a shake for science. Did you see that? When you started to go vegan, I was looking up different types of vegan foods and came across accidental vegan foods, like mm -hmm. Fritos and Airheads. <laughs> There's like a whole list. Cracker Jacks, okay. Cinnamon Life. Specifically Duncan Hines Chewy Fudge Brownies. Doritos, Ritz Crackers. Wow. Pringles. Yeah, when I think about snack food, I never think meat. It is really good. I wonder how many calories are in here. What is this even made of? Yeah, I don't it's know. It's be like one million. I didn't think about that. Okay, I'm calling it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm stopping right below the word plants and I'll oh. do that again next time. I just can't get through all 20 ounces and I don't think I need to, to show how much this is gonna spike me. Well, I could drink the whole 20 ounces. <laughs> mm, it's like somebody's going all in. Or like two sips left. I mean, what am I saving? <laughs> 400 calories. Now Levels has you wait two hours before you see how you metabolized it, but we're already 30 minutes in and uh-oh. 129 and it's, it's like uh, going directly up. Uh -oh. Level suggests an ideal goal would be to stay under 110 for your whole day. So we already know that <laughs> chugging a plant-based shake with nothing else is maybe not ideal. Results time. Levels gives you a score between one <laughs> and 10, 10 being the best. How'd your metabolism do? Not terrible, I got a five. That's surprising. It's moderate, it's not <laughs> yeah, great. It's not one. Mine's not one either, it's two. Oh. <laughs> Big spike. What's crazy is that it spiked up to 135 
and then down, and then up to 136. I was elevated for so long. Which it's not just about how high you spike, it's about how long you're out of range. So definitely room for improvement for both of us. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go! I'm so stoked. Okay. Do you wanna tell them why mine is blue? <laughs> Christine had a fit about having strawberry again, but I did some Googling and it turns out spirulina may lower blood sugar. Yeah. So you're gonna test that and I will stick to the fiber test. This is so weird. No food is blue. Oh, it's like a Smurf drink. It's like Windex. Right, the only things I've eaten that are blue are things that I shouldn't probably be eating. Yeah. <laughs> like well, stop drinking the Windex. <laughs> mm. Just as delicious as I remember. Okay, add the fiber. What flavor should I do? Raspberry, lemon, lemon, lime, mixed berry. By the way, shout out to Bellway. I've also never had the stick packs. You've probably seen where I talk about packing a big thing of fiber. Now I can travel with these little guys. It's cute. It's new and awesome. If you want to try Bellway for yourself, you can use my link in the description and my code will give you a discount. And even if this doesn't work, you should still get enough fiber in your day and it's still hard to do. Hence, we love Bellway. You don't need to do the fiber because this is your variable, but you should still drink the water because you did last time. Love a good uh, shake in water. <laughs> Easy peasy. I've been in hotel rooms with a whole tub. This is so much yeah. better. <laughs> Having to check bag because fiber. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get stopped because it's just a thing of powder. Got a better starting point. 84. 78. Taking the photo. Shake plus fiber. Ooh, lemon lime is refreshing. Good. It smells good. I want to sip. And now I'm a fan. This also helps me feel fuller. Another reason why I take it traveling. If I'm out and about, I'm probably not eating so healthy, so I probably want to eat less. And Bellway helps me feel more full longer. See how it gets thick like that? The idea is that it's mm. going to slow down my digestion, so it's not all one big glycemic load all at once, and it gives my body a chance to deal with the, all that sugar. But Will it work? If this works, I'm going back. <laughs> I'm honestly pretty skeptical. Like I said, fiber is a good thing. This is not gonna prove or disprove right. you should be eating fiber. We're basically proving or disproving a hack where if you just supplement with fiber with something bad, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna have an effect. Well, you should always try and eat a well-balanced, like eat well-balanced throughout your day anyway and not try to hack your way through things. How does that taste? Perhaps extra blue? It's in my tongue blue. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, well, this is healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, try it. Christine didn't come with me to order this time, so... Can I double the spirulina dose, please? Yeah, I put double the spirulina in there. Did you? Yeah. What? Does it taste like too much? No, it tastes great. Okay, good. <laughs> we have to make okay, sure that you really got a dose to make it work on your metabolism. So you drugged me. What? I mean, for science. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of weird. You signed the release form when you started on this <laughs> channel. Uh, it just tastes like sweet. Yeah. It's a little Imagine earthy. Imagine Cookie Monster. Right? It tastes <laughs> like weird. Cookie Monster sounds. And the studies that I saw about spirulina helping your blood sugar were over the long term, like having servings multiple days in a row. I don't know I have to have this every day. I'm just hedging our bets here that one right. dose is probably not going to make a difference, but hey, who knows? Oh, also, you weren't there, and I found out that they're made with oat milk. That's the worst milk out of- it's not even milk, I let's know. just clarify also, but that's like the worst not milk mm -hmm. milk that there is. I hate it. It's, it is a metabolism bomb, and I'm super surprised that my score was only a two. It should have been right. way higher. I should have gone above 130. Did you ask what else they put in here? No, I just saw like big old tubs of them dumping it in. I think I like this better than a milkshake, yeah, though. It's really good. There's something about the texture where it stays homogenous the whole thing. Right, like with ice cream, it's like sludge. In and the like middle, and then like- Super melted on the outside. And the next day, after our previous shake, I did finish the rest of it, and it was still a great texture. Milkshake would not have held up. We're just bad-mouthing oat milk, and then talking about how great it is. We also want to mention that I felt pretty crappy after the last time. I was like nauseous and I don't know, I just felt not fueled. Imagine that. I just was full. I just didn't want to eat anything else. Like this is really filling. Well imagine this plus fiber. Yeah, there's like one million calories. Well, we got two hours to metabolize one million calories plus spirulina. <laughs> Result time, holy crap. I cannot wait to talk through this. Ugh. But first, let's talk about how you're feeling right now probably overwhelmed. You're thinking, man, nutrition is so hard. How do I figure it out for myself? Enter Christine. Come work with me. I just launched a 21 day accelerator challenge. Perfect timing, <laughs> go sign up right now. It's perfect for you if you're one of those people who are just like, oh, I'm gonna start on my diet next Monday or I'm gonna try to eat healthier next week. If you have no accountability, no consistency or support, 
this is the perfect program for you. If you can't in 21 days show up for yourself, I don't know even why you're watching this channel. You're not that type of person, I know it. Get on board. Do it. Wait, what if I like watching video to learn? There's recorded video. Wait, what if I like reading to learn? That's perfect. We've got downloadable infographics, a success guide, cheat sheets, tracker sheets. Wait, what if I want to be with you in real time on a live stream and learn from you? <laughs> I'm going live three times in the 21 days. Yeah, basically, no matter how you learn, how you want to take in this information to improve your health and fitness, she's got you covered. Of course, I put a link in the description. Go <laughs> sign up and spots are limited. And also, she's closing registration very soon, so go! Get on it. You deserve to feel good. Okay, now for the results. Yeah. Holy, oh my. Yeah, okay, what'd you get? You went from five to four. Down. What even is that? Wow. I hate spirulina. Yeah, that's the worst because I gave you a double dose. <laughs> yeah, maybe if I had a single dose, it would have been better. I do think that if we tested it long term, having it every day, we might see a difference. Well, you should have been on the fiber train because I went from a two to a seven. Whoa. <gasps> yeah. That's cool. Seven is a good score. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I was so skeptical, and that is so remarkable of a change. Now, I don't want this to be like, oh, just hack your way to health and drink shakes with supplemental fiber, not even food fiber. I thought we would have to eat four servings of broccoli to maybe see a difference. This was a supplement. In no world am I like, ooh, I'm gonna have a shake and fiber. <laughs> yeah. But this is a really good argument that fiber with your one meal Helps. will make a difference and over long term, it is also yep. super helpful for your health. Not sparely enough. Wow, how crazy. I thought this was gonna be a blog video that had no results. Oh, also, if you didn't know this, we're traveling right now, so of course I had to bring my Bellway travel. Wait, you gotta redo that. I'm just doing like this, and it looks like I'm probably picking my nose. We're leaving it in. No. That is an ad read. <laughs> Spinning my nose ring. <laughs> this is why the people that stick around to the end, they get the gold. <laughs> You're a jerk. Pow pow. <laughs> Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and you may have seen the video where I go vegan, in which the results make it seem like veganism is insanely stupidly good for you. So I figured I should balance that out by experimenting with some vegan junk food. Wanna get a burger and fries? Yeah. 